This is LG's latest device for 2020, the LG Velvet. And it was actually announced a couple of months ago, but it was only going to be available outside of the US. But now LG has started to roll out the LG Velvet in the US and it comes in at a starting price of $599. So in this video, we're gonna go over some of my first impressions of this device after a few days of use and some of the phone's best features. Before we get started, I do want to give you a bit more information about our sponsor for this video, Keysmart. Now you guys probably remember me talking about Keysmart in the past, and I still use the Keysmart to hold all of my important keys in one place, but I've recently gone keyless, quote unquote, but the company does offer a few other products, thankfully, so I can continue to use their stuff because I really am a fan of just everything that they're doing. And the thing that I'm using most recently is this messenger bag that has so many pockets and compartments for every single thing that I take with me to and from the office, as well as this little tiny stylus that I take with me every single time I go into a store where I might have to touch the screens during the checkout process and I want to remain as sanitary as possible. Given that that's a hot topic these days, uh, you just kind of need that extra level of protection. Keysmart has loads of useful products and accessories that I, like I said, I use all the time. And for those who might be interested in checking them out, be sure to click the link in the description down below. Right off the bat, the best part about this phone is the value. For $599, you're getting a pretty high quality device with some flagship features and specs, but for hundreds of dollars cheaper than some of the competitors out there. This design screams premium with its all glass body and aluminum edges, but it's the curved glass on the back that I really like the feel of in my hand. And of course, it is a massive 6.8 inch OLED edge to edge display with a little tiny cutout for the phone 16 megapixel selfie camera on the front. There's still a headphone jack at the bottom, which a lot of you out there might really enjoy. And the device is capable of 25 watt fast charging via the USB-C port at the bottom. Or if you want to use a wireless charger, you can charge the Velvet quickly wirelessly at up to nine watts. Now heading back to that display for a quick second, it's only a full HD display, but it's still very vibrant and bright. And honestly, I wouldn't notice a difference between this or a QHD phone, uh, unless I was maybe looking at them side by side, but it's really not that big of a deal. The text looks crisp, and I think it measures up to just about every other OLED panel that LG makes for its devices. And since it is full HD, you're going to get uh, better battery life. Now, a great feature to have in any device, but especially one in this price range, is an under display fingerprint sensor. And the Velvet has one that's extremely accurate, better than ones that I've used on higher end devices. Another great feature that the LG Velvet offers is the ability to go from a standard everyday phone to a dual screen phone in seconds with the dual screen accessory. You have probably seen this before in a few other LG devices over the last year, but to see it offered with a phone at $599 is really good to see. Now, the case is sold separately, and for the life of me, I can't seem to find the price anywhere, but my guess is it's somewhere around $100 extra. If you do get this case, you will get, again, look at this, another 6.8 inch OLED display that looks just as good as the one on your actual phone, and it will take gaming and multitasking to a whole other level. I love browsing Twitter on one and have a video playing on the other display at the same time, or I can write emails and refer to other documents. It's really just fantastic. The best part is if you really don't need two screens all the time, you can just pop the phone out of the case. You don't have to have them both at the same time. It is an accessory that you can put in your bag or put in your pocket and you just don't have to have that extra bulk if you don't need it. Also, you do kind of have a third mini display here on the front, which displays the current time, battery level, notifications, etc. The cameras on this phone are also pretty good value considering that you're getting a three lens camera system with a 48 megapixel wide angle lens, an eight megapixel ultra wide lens, and a five megapixel depth sensor. Now, I haven't tested this camera system out completely yet. I haven't put it through its full paces, but you can see some of the sample photos here. It's really not that bad. We'll have a full camera review up with the main review coming in the next few weeks, but of course, would love to know your thoughts down in the comments below what you think of the camera so far. I also really hate going over specs for phones these days, especially with flagship devices. I feel like I'm just recycling information. They're more or less pretty much all the same. They all share similar specs. 
but since the device is not carrying some of those same internals as a flagship phone, it is worth pointing out that the LG Velvet is rocking an older Snapdragon 765 chipset with 128 gigabytes of internal storage, but is micro SD expandable, and it can either come with six or eight gigabytes of RAM, which is pretty good for a phone in this price range. It's pretty much on par with most flagship devices. Another thing to point out is that it seems here in the US, this device is an AT&T exclusive, and you can get this phone for only $10 a month, on AT&T, but more importantly, it's 5G compatible. And since AT&T recently rolled out its 5G service nationwide, you are pretty much covered with the Velvet and you should be able to take advantage of its 5G speeds. The downside to this phone not being unlocked in an AT&T exclusive is that there is a massive amount of bloatware and pre-installed apps, and there's even an LG logo baked right into the glass of the phone on the back, which I really don't like. This reminds me of phones from like eight years ago when they used to do this. Not a huge fan of that. A couple of other things I'm not really a big fan of off the bat is really the skin over Android. I've mentioned this before, LG hasn't really changed anything over the last few years. Uh, maybe a couple of features here and there might be different, but for the most part, it looks and operates the same. It's not terrible, but there is a lot of bloatware and things that are just added that you don't really need. Uh, it is running Android 10 and you will be getting the new LG UX 9 skin over top, but again, not really my favorite. Thankfully, it is Android and customizations can happen fairly easily, so I wouldn't worry about that at all too much. The LG Velvet comes in this silver color and a darker gray, and it starts at $599. And of course, I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. What are you thinking so far? For me, I personally really like what I've seen out of this phone with my very early impressions, but are you planning on picking one up? Uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out our sponsor if you're interested in any of the things that I talked about. They're linked in the description down below. And I would hope to see you guys around in the next video.